What's up everyone? My name is Nagarka. Welcome back to RimWorld. Hopping right back in. We have this giant wooden floor that's gonna happen eventually. Uh, Agent and Lips. Lips actually probably got hurt. Uh, old gunshot pistol. Um, did I accidentally shoot Lips in that? He shouldn't have been shot because... Because you weren't even there. I have no idea. But we still have the Alpha Beavers over here. They're doing whatever. They're gonna get hunted eventually. They're just chewing away at some wood. This one is, I guess, uh... Oh, that's why. Lips, you are a hunter. Wait. Why are you hunting? Why is Lips hunting? You don't have anything else to do. You should be our dedicated hauler. Get out of there, you crazy. Lips, you're our hauler. And then, wait, what are you, what's your gun skill? Why do you not have a gun? Man, you just, <laughs> you're insane. Um, we will actually set you to priority repair and construct. And then set you, because your skill is 11, set you to 2, and then your craft will be 1. So you're gonna cook, and then when you're done cooking, go crafting. And then after all of that is said, you can construct and grow. Yeah. Lips, you should definitely be the hauler. Why were, why were you the hauler? You're a handler. I guess because you're not really good at anything else. But Takeru does have a gun, so we can set something like that. So, um, yeah, that'll be fine. That'll be totally fine, I think. We have the plans for wooden flooring sort of going down here. It's not, it's not gonna help, like, a ton. It's just gonna help a little bit on the beauty aspect and making people a little bit happier. But, Joyfield, hey, I've been having a great time here recently. Nice! Ugly environment, it's still not perfect. We've still got this stupid slag chunk in there for whatever reason. And, uh, Lips is definitely not in a good mood, probably because you're in a pretty bad amount of pain, and you don't have your own room yet. So, we can also start doing a room for you. So it was one, two, no, these ones were, this one was big. One, two, three, four, five by five. So one, two, three, four. This is five here. So we have to sort of. Uh, well, no, that's not a really great spot for it. Kind of because I have this door here. We'll go one. No, that'll that'll also be wrong. I need to count sideways first. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. So this wall will technically be here. It'll technically be there. I won't worry about it right now. Uh, honestly, I probably won't even go back and fix that later. <laughs> because it's a little bit silly to do that, I think. And then we're gonna have a vent here. And a door... Where is it? Structure, wooden door, right there. So that'll be nice. That'll be... And we can start doing steel beds from now on, I think. And also a misc? No, that's a sun lamp. Broken and in the days again, really? Uh, it's furniture? Yeah, furniture. Standing lamp. There you go. Get some light. I'm, I'm really surprised that uh, we keep getting people in a daze. And I know that I have a lot queued up right now. Like, I have all of this stone floor stuff. I only have... I don't actually have anyone dedicated to, like, cutting plants right now. We'll set you to a 2 there. And a 2 there. So everyone has it, like, on their mind, but I have so many other things to do. Will you stop taking off your pants? Just... Just fix yourself, yo. Broken thoughts. Now put your pants on. <laughs> Jesus. 
Freya, you you got an issue before too, didn't you? Yeah, you didn't take off your pants though. Okay, that's good. It's pretty good. I really should have someone doing that though. Um, who can be dedicated plant cutting? Well, not necessarily dedicated. We'll actually have you do it. Yeah, Takeru, you will be... So if you're not handling animals, you're going to cut the plants, and if you aren't doing that, then you're going to clean. Yeah. That should be good. Now that I understand how that works, like, a lot more, I think we're going to do great. And also, this Syrigium is sort of on the edge of getting finished up there. So hopefully, hopefully we get some of the herbal medicine from that and don't panic too much. I've never used a nutrient paste dispenser, and I don't really know if I ever am going to. It's something that I just haven't paid attention to. We are going to go for the comms console pretty soon here. We have the steel to do it. And I think it's just gonna go... I'd say, like, right... I don't know if this works. I'm gonna assume it does. So yeah, we'll just <laughs> cram it in there. Deconstruct that cable because our power is being run through the walls already. I haven't had a raid in a while, and I'm going to regret saying that because it's going to happen any time now. But we do need to start working on our trading capacity. Which is also an orbital trade beacon, which is going to just sort of go right here and one like right here, to get a little bit of the food in there. No, no, it should probably have its own, but... Yeah, just get a little bit of the food in there. I don't know if they're gonna prioritize putting it within range... ...of all of that, but... You know, hopefully. Hopefully it will. I doubt it. I doubt it's gonna prioritize putting... ...um, food within the range of the Orbital Trade Beacon. But, yeah, as long as some of it's in there, it should be fine. I just want to have the option to buy medicine, even though I'm about to get herbal medicine from Zerigium. I do want the option. It's always better to have the option than to not have the option. Strawberries, you're doing good. Devil Strand, yeah, you're still a little bit of a pain in the ass. Did I never plant cotton? I thought I did. Oh, there's cotton. We do have cotton. That's silver. Is cotton just not getting planted, or...? Is it being converted into this cloth? Mad animal. Jump to location. It is you. This buck. Get it? It's, it's you. Okay, it doesn't really make sense because it's not a you. It's a buck. But still. It's kind of funny. In a not so funny way. And then it was... Where are you? You guys are always so spread out. Freya. No, it wasn't Freya. It was... Whatever, you two should be able to handle it. Just, just go out there. Oh, smash, right, there you are. All of you are drafted. Here you go. Uh, we well, should probably actually have smash run. We should probably actually have smash run from it, because it's pretty fast. Get out of the way, smash! Get out of the way, smash! Come on, guys. Shoot it. Shoot it good. Nice. And then we can do that. Smash, you, you're you gonna have to go get fixed up. Oh, it's just a couple of bruises. It's just a couple of bruises. Um, how hard are these to tame, actually? Wildness, 75%. We're gonna try to tame it. Just... Just try to tame it. <laughs> Where's Cranberry? Is Cranberry dead? I think Cranberry died. No. Oh, you're just unrestricted, that's why. You're only five, which is good. You're not super, super old. So, I mean, not being super old is great. Man, I guess it's snowing outside where I am right now. Um, I'm actually gonna pause the video because I want to go see the snow. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. Um, many of you know that I actually moved up to Washington from California, uh, like, last year. 
technically earlier this year. And I, I've seen snow in my life. I've, I've lived in Washington before. I've been through Wyoming in January. And I mean, I've seen snow. It's just I haven't seen snow here um, since I moved. So I wanted to see the first snow. And it's pretty much just a super, it's like a cold rain. It is basically raining outside and some of it is snow. <laughs> So that's that's what we're dealing with right now. It's pretty cool. It's always nice, you know, having having the um, the weather of the season. It's it's about to be Christmas time. It's known for its its um its snow. So, and cranberry has a bed. Nice cranberry. Oh man, I'm I'm so happy that you're happy because I'm gonna slaughter you one day. And, and you are just, you're gonna get it. You are going to get it. And you're gonna be so tasty. And so yummy. Um, so the room is still ugly, and it's a little bit dirty. dirty but it's, it's not a really uncomfortable room, it's just a little bit tight. It's, it's tight, but it's, it's okay. Wealth is not good, impressiveness is dull. So, you know what? We might start working on some quality of life things here. Because I'm noticing that I'm getting some mental breaks here. They're just feeling bad right now. They're wearing tattered apparel. Had an unpleasant chat. Okay, so I have cloth. Is it- are they actually just turning cotton plants into cloth? I don't know... I don't have... that. Like, I don't have something for them to do that, so I don't know how they would be doing that. Slate blocks. Is that something that I can build out of now? Structure... Slate blocks? Yeah, I can totally build out of slate. I can totally build out of those things now. But it does look like I was... Sort of right. It looks like they aren't doing 70 five of each, it looks like they're only doing 75 of one. And, but it might only be because I have just slate. Which would kind of make sense, because I've got slate from all of this. Yeah. And we're actually short on wood. So one of the things that I need to look- kind of revisit here is... all of this, but it looks like- yeah, Takeru is doing their job of plant- uh, cutting plants now. Uh, we're gonna look towards a tailor's bench. Do I have anyone that really likes being a tailor? Or anyone that's already like super skilled at it, maybe? You're okay at it. So it'll go... Like this. Okay, we'll try it out. For cloth refinement and clothing... Production. I still don't know how, how we have cloth and all of that, but we'll sort of just tack that on right here for right now. I have the steel to do it. I definitely have the steel to do it. And now they're, they're finishing up all of the wood here. Oh, there's the raid that I was really concerned about. Okay, we're gonna pause. These guys look like they have, um, some spears. Yeah, steel spear, a bow, a bow. Devil Strand Tribal Wear is interesting. So, Agent, not Nash, not Freya, Takeru. You're gonna go there, you're gonna go there. Actually, you're gonna go, we're gonna try to separate them a little bit because I'm, I'm noticing that I'm always having a little bit of issue with me being concerned about accidentally shooting my own people. So that's something that I'm going to be mindful of, is just trying not to shoot my own damn people. So I'm, I'm not going to group them up like they're a silly, silly force. We're going to try to uh, keep them split a little bit. I don't know if trees count as cover, but I'm, I've always just kind of kept, kept that in mind that it might. Agent did get shot here. We're actually going to recruit Lips and come help out. Melee attack. Melee attack, yeah. Okay, run away. Run away. Cranberry is gonna come help you. We need to come help out Agent. He's getting shot by the bow. 
Why is Cranberry not helping you? Okay, one of my people needs rescue, to Keru. Okay, uh, strip him. Oh, uh, Freya is gonna be saving him. And then we are going to capture him. Sorry, capture him. I accidentally undrafted in the middle of that. And then he's dead. So we're gonna unrestrict him, as well as his fine meal and his short bow. Those can just come to my base. Okay, I think I have everything fixed. Pretty sure I have everything fixed. Yeah. So again, this isn't a sanitary room yet. I will be doing that. It's a little bit dirty too. Is there a way to prioritize like cleaning a certain room? Like if I have a medical place and I need it to be clean for sanitary reasons, can I force them to clean that and keep it clean without me having to constantly do that? So let's look at this guy. Uh, he's not actually that bad at things. He's not capable at crafting. But he's reasonable at some things. At, at worst, he can be a hauler and a miner. So you are going to be a chat and recruit. You can also be a plant and cutter, why not? So how bad did you get it, Takeru? You got a little bit of blood loss by a spear, cracked your jaw, um... Yeah, I think it's counting Takeru, yeah, as a hunter right now. Thankfully, Agent didn't get it too bad. Just got one a cut on the left arm from the short bow. Shouldn't be a tragedy at all. It should be pretty fine. Should be pretty good. Tool cabinet, what is that? Increases work speed, needs to be placed near workbench. One workbench can simultaneously be linked to only two tool cabinets, okay. Interesting. Ship. I have no idea what the ship is. I haven't even really looked at it. I think that's like the wind condition of the game, sort of like Factorio has. Oh, sandbags. Can you go on mud? You cannot go on mud. I can't. I can't do it on mud. There Shouldn't there be more like, uh, quality of life stuff? Steel equipment rack. Items stored in this will not deteriorate even if outside. I don't know what this is, to be honest. I don't know <laughs> what the equipment rack is, so I'm not gonna bother with it right now. I'm looking for like, plants and like, nice things for my people in their room. Plant pot! Improve the mood of the people nearby. We're just gonna tack one of these on in everyone's room. It's just a little bit of steel. I could have done it out of wood, but I mean, let's be honest, it's just a little bit of steel. And we'll even throw one in the medical place. Whoa, hold on. Okay, so there's some meals over there. And this will also be set owner to lips. As we're about to let in another person that will probably need a bed of their own. Um, and go. But hey, look at all of that. A bunch of hops. I'm good with the hops. So, Engo has an infection now. How bad is it? It's in this torso, which is not something I can just amputate. I cannot just amputate the person. I, I, I cannot do that. <laughs> that's, that's a little bit too far even for me. Uh, failed to recruit and go. That's fine. Now, where is Takeru? Takeru, you should be fine. Playing horseshoes. Yeah, you've got some blood loss still. Okay. But we're gonna tell you, go get your pistol back. You need, you need your pistol. Joy. I don't have the wood to do the billiards table right now. I could do a chess table. You know, we'll do a chess table... 
right here. Just, just get a little bit of quality of life stuff. And here is some of that delicious, delicious herbal medicine. This is the stuff I've been waiting for. That's the stuff I want. Agent is halfway done with geothermal power, which I've heard is super good. That's why I'm getting it. Melee damage 15, so that's... I am going to tell my other people, hey, you go get that spear. Nash, there was another spear somewhere. Where did it go? Did we already collect it? We might have already collected it. Uh, I don't see it, but it'll turn up. I know I, um, I said that they could grab it. So it'll turn up eventually. And when I can, I'm definitely equipping them with some spears. Uh, this door is stuck open. We're gonna tell them to hold it open and then close it. Hopefully they fix that. That's a little bit weird. There's also some beaver skin there, that's kinda odd. But yeah, what I was saying is I might have to tell this to sort of shrink down a little bit. But for right now, I actually like having all of this here. It really helps me just knowing what I have really quick. The roof has collapsed because it was too far from any support. Indoor, 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 indoor. Indoor, indoor. Where? Oh, over here? Maybe it was over here. Outdoors. Nowhere should be unroofed. It doesn't say unroofed. Or not roofed. I still- I want to get this out of the way. I really do, but I know there's scary things in there and I don't want to just kill my run. I don't want to just die. <laughs> Is, is what I'm saying there. Roof collapse. A roof has collapsed because it was too far from any support. The things that were crushed slate chunk. Yeah, oh, over here. So I guess I have to be a little bit more careful about my... My, um, mining situation. Okay. That's, that's reasonable. I should probably also do really quick... I always forget where the standing lamps is. It's in furniture. Just do, like, a light or two in here. But now you can see in the bottom right, I don't have anything wrong. There's nothing wrong. Admittedly, I would like to have not herbal medicine. I would like to have real medicine. I don't know how to craft real medicine. Actually, does it tell me? No, it doesn't tell me. That's fine. That's totally cool. I don't expect it to tell me. Hospital bed. That'll be really nice. I might get that next. Hospital bed sounds great. Ooh, cremation sounds really good too. Oh man, because when people die, having to build graves is terrible. I hate having to build graves. So where's my wood? Yeah, we still need you cutting wood, which is what you're doing, so I guess I can't complain too much. Except I can tell you to cut more. Visitor, okay, whatever. I really, I don't really care about the visitors at all. Not at all. Frozen won't spoil. Our power is doing pretty good. We'll get a little bit more power. Just one more little... A, one more little thing. He's growing his day lily. He's growing his day lily. Nice. So that gives it 24 more beauty, which is... It's an ugly room. Like, these are ugly rooms still. Negative... 0.28, negative 0.48, negative 0 0.7, or 0 0.07, which isn't bad. That's not bad. Should I have moved these lights, by the way? Because it looks like they're only getting, like, this much of the room when over here is bad. Yeah, when I get Engo, if I do get Enjo and he doesn't die, Engo, Enjo, whatever. Let's check his infection really quick, if I can click on him. Oh, a major infection in his torso. Okay. Well, if I don't get him. Oh, a genetic scientist named Edward Toon calls you from nearby. He is being chased by tribes people, people from Engo. Oh, Brexos. He begs for safety and offers to join your colony. He's 51 years old? Uh, 
51, sorry. 51 is a little bit old for me. Like, if he were younger, I probably would have tried to fix him. But he wasn't. Infection Extreme, okay. Um, let me look at this really quick. Yeah, I'm just gonna euthanize him. I don't know, is, is euthanizing something that's gonna give a big negative effect? Negative mood to everyone? I'm hoping not, we're just gonna euthanize him. Yeah, it's still... Oh, collapsed rocks right there, that's fine. We're gonna euthanize him, put him out of his misery. Hopefully it doesn't make everyone too sad. Um, let's see, needs... Someone put to death, or prisoner or guest was put to death. Witness, witness the stranger's death. Um, anyone else? Someone put to death. It's not a big detriment. It really isn't. It's not, it's not like... Terrible. Butchered human-like, that's... Hey, we got leather though. We did get leather. And we have human meat in here. I don't know, I'll probably sell it, to be honest, if that's a thing that I'm allowed to do, um, without people hating me for it. But, you know, things are going pretty good. I think things are going great, in fact. This is the longest I've survived in any one game. It is definitely the longest I've survived. Steel chest table. Nice. I don't know what I'm gonna work on next. Feel free to tell me what you think I should work on next, but this is this is going pretty well. Let me look at my zones really quick before I wrap it up. Just look at them really quick. Yeah, we're totally fine. So, my name's Nagark. There's a small fire over there. This is RimWorld, and thank you for watching.